Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about the Dallas Cowboys versus Philadelphia Eagles Week 17 matchup based on analytics. Uh, each week, I like to collect all of the current 2017 NFL team data in order to analyze and project potential NFL performance. And since it's a weekly collection, there's always going to be some variation between various variables. However, there's always going to be little nuggets of truth that could become bigger nuggets of truth as the season continues. So stick around as I analyze each week's matchups based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So... Starting with this matchup between the Cowboys and the Eagles. Uh, when you look at the NFL stat basic comparison data, and basic comparison data essentially is the basics. Uh, it's looking at um, how the offense is doing, how the defense is doing, and of course how the special teams is doing um, based on various uh, variables when it comes to uh, the overall data. And based on all this information, uh, the Eagles are pretty heavily favored in this game over the Cowboys. Now, it's important to note that the Eagles experienced the loss of Carson Wentz. And they also had a kind of shaky performance against the Oakland Raiders as well. Um, so there definitely are a lot of variables that are going to affect this game. However, you cannot deny <coughs> the fact that the, that the Eagles have lots of positives uh, on offense and defense that have really nothing to do with the quarterback position. Um, so definitely the quarterback position is going to factor into things. However, there's lots of other uh, sort of variables and different sort of aspects of the Eagles team that are strengths that uh, still uh, kind of show up in the, uh, you know, in the data. Uh, so <clears throat> when you look at this information, uh, so, you know, looking at, uh, who know who's favored in this game offensively speaking uh, the Eagles are favored uh, in pretty much every area on offense uh, they have the better turnover ratio the better sack percentage and the better offensive score percentage meaning that they're able to put points on the board on offense more often uh, compared to every other team uh, at least compared to the, the Cowboys at least uh, and then of course when you look at the defensive side of the football uh, the Eagles are pretty much favored in every aspect of defense as well. Uh, they have uh, defensive offensive score percentage, uh, turnover ratio, and interception percentage. All those areas pretty much favor them uh, for the most part there. Uh, the Cowboys are favored in terms of sack percentage. Uh, but for the most part, the Eagles are favored in you know all three, all three of the major categories of defense, especially the category that matters a lot in terms of uh, defensive offensive score percentage. Uh, and then, of course, when you get to the special teams data, the Eagles are the uh, Eagles are favored in terms of uh, punt return yardage. Cowboys are favored in terms of kick return yardage. Defensive punt return yardage favors the Cowboys. Defensive kick return yardage favors the Cowboys. Field goal percentage favors the Eagles. Extra point percentage favors the Cowboys. And punting average favors the Eagles. In terms of who has the better special teams, uh, it's pretty much the Eagles because of the field goal percentage. By far the most important statistic when it comes to um, special teams data and special teams information is field goal percentage. Um, that's by far one of the most important um, aspects to the position. You know, is that field goal percentage? Uh, so again, when you look at at all the other factors, offensively speaking, Eagles are favored. Defensively speaking, the Eagles are favored. And of course, special teams wise, they're favored when it comes to the statistics that matter a lot to winning in terms of special teams, which is field goal percentage. So Every aspect is pretty much covered for the Eagles. Yes, the quarterback position is going to have a factor in this game, but I still think that a lot of the data still favors uh, the Eagles despite some of the issues that they do have at the quarterback position uh, because Carson Wentz is not in the, you know, he's uh, out. Now, when you get to some other sort of data points, so now we're getting into some different down and distance data. Uh, when you look at the Cowboys offense versus Eagles defense when it comes to completion percentage, uh, the Eagles are favored in terms of first and third down uh, when it comes to uh, completion percentage data. So definitely um, an aspect here that kind of favors them uh, pretty well uh, based on data. Uh, and then, of course, you look at the Eagles offense versus Cowboys defense when it comes to completion percentage. Uh, this particular area, the Eagles are favored on second and third down. 
Um, so definitely, you know, another area that uh, more so kind of favors the Eagles here uh, when it comes to that particular data point. Then, of course, you look at rushing down. So this is first down conversion rate with the run. Uh, again, this has really nothing to do with yardage or explosive plays. It mainly has to do with the ability to convert first downs with the run and various downs and distances. And in this particular area, the Cowboys are favored on second and third down. So the major down and distances that matter a lot um, to converting, the Cowboys do those areas pretty well. And then, of course, we look at the Eagles offense versus Cowboys defense when it comes to rushing downs. And in this particular area, the Eagles are favored on first down. Uh, tied on second down and a slight advantage on third down. Um, so the Eagles have a slight advantage when it comes to rushing the football, uh, but, it's, but it definitely has some evenness to it uh, when you look at first, second, and third down. You know, there's definitely some evenness between both these teams when it comes to rushing downs, but the Eagles have a slight advantage uh, on first and third down. Then we get to passing downs. Uh, this is the Cowboys passing offense versus Eagles passing defense. In this area, as you can clearly see, the Eagles defense is favored on first and third down. Uh, again, the Eagles defense is kind of an unsung hero in many ways, uh, and I think that they will make their presence fe felt in this game uh, and kind of hopefully create enough opportunities for them to win the game despite some of the quarterback issues that the Eagles are having right now. Uh, and then, of course, you look at the Eagles offense versus Cowboys defense when it comes to passing downs. Uh, in this particular area, the Eagles are favored on third down however first and second definitely more so goes to the cowboys and on top of that you factor in the the quarterback issues uh this could actually be more of a toss-up than anything else in this game but um but overall even with all the other sort of stuff the cowboys are favored in terms of passing down so it's just a matter of everything else kind of working for the eagles in this game and then of course you get to sack rates uh between the cowboys offense and the eagles defense uh, this area, the Eagles are slightly favored in terms of second down and also favored in terms of first down. So I do think there is a, like, a pretty good likelihood that the Eagles will be able to get a sack in this game. Um, but there definitely is uh, some doubt uh, because of the Cowboys' ability to kind of prevent sacks as well. Then, of course, we get to the Eagles' offense versus Cowboys' defense in terms of sack rate. In this particular area, the Eagles are favored on second and third down uh, when it comes to data. Um, so definitely kind of favors them a lot uh, in terms of this particular area. Uh, and then, of course, we get to interception ratio between the Cowboys offense and Eagles defense, uh, where the Eagles are favored on second and third down. Uh, so again, Eagles pretty much, you know, favored in those uh, two particular downs and distances. And then finally, uh, we get to the Eagles offense versus Cowboys defense, uh, where the Eagles are favored on first, second, and third down uh, so very unlikely that the Eagles might throw an interception although with the new quarterback in place it definitely is a possibility so overall impressions of this game uh, I still think it's it could be an Eagles victory I do understand the quarterback woes and issues that happen against the Oakland Raiders uh, and the other sort of aspects to kind of consider however I think the Eagles defense I think the Eagles running game and I think that there's enough positives to kind of push them over the top uh, to give them the victory in this game. So there is a chance that the Cowboys can win this game. I mean, I'm not denying that at all. It's not exactly a slam dunk victory for the Eagles by any stretch of the imagination, especially with the quarterback um, sort of situation. Uh, however, I do think there's a lot of aspects to consider in this game that I st still think kind of go towards the Eagles. It's, it's at home, by the way, uh, too. Um, so you have that aspect to consider as well. Uh, but uh, but overall, I, st I just feel like uh, the, the Eagles have a pretty good shot because of their defense and because of other aspects of their team to get this win. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below, who do you believe is going to win this football game? Uh, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well uh, with anybody that you know. And hit that notification button uh, to be notified of another video that comes out from me in the future. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.